Resort to Ostrava Canal so here to Copenhagen's Harbor and Canals and welcome to my last day as a guide. My name is Tema, I will be guiding you. I love the captain up here is Mark. He will be giving me Kleenex and be selling you safety through the harbor. About safety here on board, we will be sending out some rope bridges, so please mind your head. Keep your arms inside your boat. Do not stand up under the bridges. We don't want any of you to lose your heads today. If you have any trash, please use the trash cans and smoking <laughs> is not allowed on board. Church was built in 1619. It is also the church that Queen got married to her husband Henrik in, in uh, 1967. Uh, på jeres venstre side der har vi Holmens Kirke. Den blev bygget i 1619. Det er også den kirke, hvor Stolte Hun begik med hendes mand Henrik i 1967. Now on your right hand side we have the Stock Exchange. And the Stock Exchange was built from 1620 to 1640. And on top we have four dragons with their tails intertwined. And I would like to talk more about those after the bridge. Her på jeres højre side, der har vi børsen. Og børsen der blev bygget fra 1620 til 1640. Og øh, på toppen, der har vi altså fire drage med deres haler spundet sammen. Og dem vil jeg gerne snakke mere om efter bro. So next bridge coming up, mind your head, vi kommer til den næste bro. Pas på hovederne. Thank you for sitting down. Tak fordi I sidder her. because the castle next to it has been burnt down twice. The stock exchange has never been burnt down. So something must have worked. To your right, we, ha we have a famous bar here in Copenhagen and I would like to talk more about that after the bridge. The vores højre side, der har vi kendt bar her i København og dem vil jeg egentlig gerne snakke mere om efter broen. So next bridge coming up. Mind your head, vi kommer til næste bro. Pas på hovederne. Thank you for sitting down. Tak fordi I stod nu. So the bar that was to the right of the bridge is a bar, so of course you can go get there and get a refreshment. But you can also rent a green kayak for free for two hours if you agree to gather trash in Copenhagen's Harbor and canals and come back with a bucket full. And uh, personally, I think it is a great initiative because you get a nice day on the water in a kayak and who doesn't want that? But uh, you also get to help us clean the harbors and canals so tours like these can stay, uh, rented boats can sail and we can swim in the water all year round. Uh, but not because when the bridge is closing, it looks like two people coming in for a kiss. Which means this bridge does not traditionally open up and down. It actually slides to the side and slides back again. Uh, the bridge is a pedestrian and bicycle bridge only, so no motor vehicles are allowed up there. Broen lige foran os, den hedder i daglig tale Indhavnsbroen, men den er også kendt som Køssebroen. Og det er den, fordi når broen den lukker, så ligner det to mennesker, der mødes til et kys. Det betyder også, at den her bro, den ikke traditionelvis åbner op og ned. Den kører faktisk til siden og tilbage igen. Det er en gang af cykelbro, så der er ikke nogen motorkøb, så der er en der er derude. Now on my tours. We have had a lot of couples kissing each other under this bridge. We have also had a lot of parents kissing their kids under the bridge. And I actually think it is quite cute when that happens. If you don't have anyone to kiss, or you just don't want to kiss your significant other or your kids, it is also the only bridge you're allowed to stand up under during a tour. So feel free to do that instead. Or both if you want to. Go ahead, me too, and I have your smile. Talk that kiss it as well as I vi har også haft mange forældre, der har kysset deres børn under den her bro. Og så faktisk det er ret sundt, når sådan noget, der sker. 
Hvis I ikke har nogen at kysse, eller I ikke gider at kysse jeres partner eller jeres barn, så er det også den eneste brug, det er til at stå op under, under vores tur. Så det må I meget gerne gøre. I må gerne gøre begge dele. Now on your right hand side we have uh, the Paper Island and the Paper Island is a part of the artificial island Holmen which consists of five artificial islands here in Copenhagen where the Paper Island is one of them. Now uh, Holmen was built in uh, 1685 and back then it was called the Navy and the Navy had all they could dream of out here to your right. They had houses, schools, barracks and they had places where they could repair their ships and back then their ships is made out of wood and uh, they were actually forced out of the Copenhagen city and out here because of our major fire has it for all of Copenhagen. Now the uh, Akatum have decided that we are sailing behind Holmen which means you will get a chance to see some of the Navy's old stuff from the early 1800s. Also after the next bridge there will be a small quiet zone for me and the microphone. It will last two minutes and then I will be back with more information for your ears. To your left, we have this building with apartments in it, and that building has been used for repairing torpedo boats in back in the day. Now, we have the side that has a big thing with lighting, but then it was built to repair torpedo boats in its early morning. And I think it's a pretty good example of how we often get for the old buildings here in Copenhagen instead of just to build them up. I actually think it is a great example of how we often reuse our buildings here in Copenhagen instead of just tearing them down and building all new buildings. So if you look to your left, right now, we have the little wooden house. And the left is called Hotel. Uh, it is named Kai Hotel, directly translated into Duck Hotel, like ducking a boat. And it consists of one bedroom. Lige nu på jeres venstre side, der har vi et mix hotel, en Akai hotel, og det består altså af helt kompetence. Also, up here to the left, we have an old ferry, and that ferry has been used for transporting people from a little island to the mainland. It went out of service, and a Danish architect bought the ferry, and he has transformed it into his home, so he is actually living in there right now. Her på jeres venstre side, der har vi en gammel fejrefærge, og øh, ja, den er ikke så brugt mere, så opkøbt den der danske arkitekt, Bjarke Engels færge. Now on your right hand side, we have this huge blue gray ship with F352 on its side. That is the Forget Pilskamp. And Pilskamp is mostly known for a tiny little accident it had 41 years ago. It accidentally fired a missile into a holiday area, totally destroyed four holiday homes, damaged 130 others. But uh, luckily nobody got hurt, and uh, today Pilskamp is mostly known for how firing its whoops missile. Now coming up on your right hand side, we have the Redfall Island. It is mostly known for the old B&W malls where we built ships in the old days. Also known for being one of Copenhagen's biggest workplaces back in the day. It is still a bit of an industrial area out here, but if you want to go play paddle tennis or paintball, or if you want to high rope or bungee jump or go visit a concert, it is out here you can go do that. And it 
After the ballet, he went to the Danish sculptor named Edward Eriksson, asked if he could make a statue for him in all of Copenhagen. Yeah. Edward Eriksson couldn't refuse, That's so right, he made you. The Little Mermaid, and The Little Mermaid has been sitting out here on her rock since 1913. You know, The Little Mermaid hasn't always been in um, <coughs> so to speak. She has been decapitated twice, almost three times. She's had her arms cut off once, and she has been covered with paint more times than you can count on two hands. Uh, she's also been blown off her rock once. And uh, the first time she lost her head, that was in 1964. And back then they actually never found her head or the person who did it. The second time, that was in uh, 1998. And back then they found her head in a locker at the main train station here in uh, Copenhagen. She's been through a lot. Houses with the green roofing, and that is where the Queen awaits before she boards the Royal Ship Denimal, which right now is in the southern part of Denmark. The one to the left with the crown on top is where a Queen awaits before she boards, and the one to the right with the golden onion on top that is where her guests await. Now, if you keep your eyes to the right, you will see a beautiful white building with a lot of blue windows in it, and that is the headquarter of Mask. And the mass container line is the biggest container line in the world. And Edgar Miller, he built the company from scratch, and when he died, his son McKinney Mass took over. And uh, McKinney Mass was one of the only non-royal persons who had received the order of the elephant from on the Now, if you take a straight look through Amelia Bowl, we have a beautiful church. That is the marble church also known as the Frederick Church. And uh, it was built by King Frederick V. He replaced the first brick. But it wasn't until 145 years later that the church was finished. The opera was finished in 2005, and it was a gift from the A.P. Muller Foundation, and the architect is Henning Marsen. Inside the opera, we have 14 floors, and five of these floors located below sea level. We also have two main auditoriums, and the biggest one can hold up to 1,700 people. Now, in a couple of minutes, we will be sailing into a beautiful area called Christian Town. And uh, Christian Town is an area that our King Christian IV, he built 404 years ago, so a lot of force. Uh, he built it because he uh, wanted to lure rich Dutch merchants up here to live, so he could get a lot of money. So he actually went to Amsterdam, he got some inspiration down there, he came back and he built Christian Town. Unfortunately for him, when it was finished, no rich Dutch people came up here to live. It was the work class from Germany and the work class from Denmark that moved in. So he didn't get all the money he had hoped for, so he could go to war with whoever he wanted to and build all the buildings he wanted to. As you do as a king in the 1600s when you're born. Uh, his plan failed, but we are glad it did because we have a beautiful Christian town today to thank him for. When we get into Christian town, there will be a great uh, photo opportunity of our Savior's church. I will say when that opportunity arises, there is also a lot of uh, houseboats uh, inside. And some people actually live on these houseboats, so enjoy the atmosphere. There is also another quiet zone for me and the microphone. This time, a bit longer than the first one, so I will put down the microphone so you can rest your ears a little and yeah, just enjoy it all inside.
You want to look to your left hand side and up and enjoy a photo opportunity of our Savior's Church, Rune B. Efter den her bro, så vil jeg gerne kigge på jeres venstre side op. Det der er jeres fotomålighed er mig fra sig kirken. Kom op. But first, bridge coming up, mind your head, and now so come over to bro and pass på hovederne. If you look to your left, right. Now, it's your photo opportunity. This is the best of us. Are you as good as Our Savior's Church has 400 steps from the bottom to the top, and it's top of the figurine of our Savior. Our Father's Church has 400 steps from the top to the top, and it's top of the figurine of our Savior. And I know it is a nice bridge most of you looked into when I said it. I know there are a lot of people who want to keep it in me. Now, if you're wondering if you can walk up all 400 steps, the answer is yes, you can. And most of the steps are located outside the tower. If you take a put, I could go up. I'll see you in the fleet. So, as well, yes, we can. But the fleet is in there on the tower. The 
this building is in front of us. It's the Black Diamond. And uh, the Black Diamond was finished in 1999. And it is an extension of the old Royal Library. So in here, you can find over 30,000 handwritten notes and over 725,000 books. The building here is leaning 7 degrees towards the water. And uh, it does that because when the sun is shining, at the right time of the day, of course, the water reflects the sun onto the surface and it looks like there are thousands of diamonds inside. Hence your name. Also, the building in front of us made out of glass is called Blux. Blux is made by the Dutch architect Sam Kulepes and Willem van Doorn. And as you can see, they got a Lego when they designed the building. Or me have given a sign for you to come out. If you have any trash, 
please use the trash cans and the most important part remember your personal belongings this will also be the last time you will hear me say this bridge coming up mind your head det bliver også sidste gang, I kommer til at høre mig sige det her, så kommer vi til bro. Pas på bordene. Thank you for sitting down. Tak fordi I stod nu. Thank you so much. Tak skal I have.